Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about cubing and more specifically how you should spend your money on cubes to get the most efficient gains possible. So when people think about cubing, they automatically think they should be going for three line, but in a lot of cases, that is honestly griefing your progression. Going for three lines, that should be the last on your priority. And I'm going to break all of that down in this video. Just a PSA because I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, you didn't explain this, you didn't go in depth, you didn't do this. I'm just strictly talking about cubing, not how to get the money to cube. That is up to you. We do have plenty of money making guides on this channel as well. So if you guys were curious on how to fast track your progression, how to get as much money as possible, we do have some guides on that. I'll leave them linked down below. But this is just how to cube and how to efficiently cube not going in depth on how to get all this money how to do all that how to do all this it's just a basic guide to show you guys what you should be looking for and hopefully this guides you in the right direction anyways cubing does cost quite a bit of money so here is where you should first start. This is what you should do baseline. It's like the first thing you, that you should be cubing. You don't worry about anything else, but you should be cubing your weapon, emblem, and secondary first. So those are the main priority. And you should be cubing them to legendary with two lines of useful stats per piece. So any combination of attack, any combination of attack boss, a combination of boss ID or attack ID. This shouldn't cost too much, but if you were curious, getting two line a legendary on these three pieces of equipment could range anywhere from three to 10 build total. I know that is like a really big margin, but this is an RNG based game and you can get really lucky and you can get extremely unlucky like i said earlier though it is pretty easy to get two lines of useful stats on your weapon emblem and secondary and these are going to give you the most damage possible so it is definitely worth investing early on so i just wanted to get the wsc out of the way that is honestly like the one thing that you should really work on but for the gear we're gonna break this down into five parts baby early mid late and end baby is gonna be pre 200 early is going to be 200 to 220 mid is going to be 220 to 235 late is going to be 235 to level 260 and end is going to be 200 160 plus now again this is just my opinion this isn't like set in stone obviously you progress at your own pace but this is just where i think is a good spot to be at for each of these tiers and this is also a spot that i think is just good in terms of efficiency you don't want to go too fast but you definitely don't want to go too slow so at baby game it's gonna be pre 200 you guys guessed it we're just doing rare one line of stat and if you get lucky enough to hit epic of course just one line of stat but rare to epic gear one line of stat at pre 200 you don't really need any crazy gear at this point in the game you're just kind of learning everything anyways just kind of getting familiar with everything so definitely do not spend or sweat and i know some of you guys are curious like how would anyone even have the money to spend or anything uh there is piggy banks in the game right now so that is like a crazy source of money so keep that in mind when i'm making this video of course if you're watching this video later on just completely forget i said piggy banks like they're not a thing anymore but at this point in the game they are relevant anyways moving on to early game Game. early game at level 200 to 220 i would say go for epic to unique gear two line of stat any two line combination is perfectly fine at these stages in the game actually having percent stat does increase your damage by quite a lot it starts to get diminishing returns obviously like the higher you go but when you first start off like that epic to unique gear two line is definitely going to increase your damage a lot and you're going to want to get your gear to this point because training at these maps is definitely going to be a little tough if you you don't have your gear at epic to unique at at least two line stat now we're going to be moving into mid game which is 220 to 235 i would recommend just having all of your gear at two line unique of course if you get lucky and get some legendaries that's fine but you definitely don't need to greed at any point at 220 to 235 for legendary items again this is still like a very early point in the game at around 235 is where you're really gonna start needing to push those potentials which is moving in to the next tier 
which is quote unquote late game. Mid game is kind of like that buffer point. It's like that filler. There's not really much going on. You don't really need any crazy gear, but at 235 to 260, you're definitely going to want to start getting legendary two line gear with your miso and drop gear 1000%. Let me just make this clear. Like you need to get your miso and drop gear. Miso and drop gear is so important at 235 to the end game. Like you need to get your miso and drop gear at this point. To be honest, you really could start going for miso and drop gear at the mid game stage as well. If you do have the money for it, the sooner, the better for miso and drop gear. If you can get this at baby stage, like get it at baby stage, but at level 235, to 260 you are 100% going to want to get your miso and drop gear and get all your gear to at least two line legendary in some cases two line unique is perfectly fine as well i know for example my night lord is rocking two line unique gear and is doing perfectly fine one of the biggest things that comes into play i know i said i wasn't going to talk about other systems in this game with this cubing video but just keep in mind that if you don't have like your links fully done or like you don't have your legion done you're gonna have to compensate in some way by either getting more lines on your gear or by going and doing your legion so what works for me might not work for you because you guys don't have a higher legion so keep that in mind as well but again legendary two lines should be more than enough for these levels moving on from late game we enter the end game or the quote-unquote end game for cubing now when you're at 260 plus this is where you want to start going for your real three lines and let me just preface this again i said i wasn't going to talk about other systems but i kind of have to talk about other systems because you might grief yourself and i don't want you to grief yourself only go for real three lines if you are done star forcing that item let me actually clarify that don't go for real three lines on items that you have to fodder over or transfer hammer onto because as you guys know if you didn't watch the star forcing video if you transfer hammer onto an item let's say that's three line luck you will lose that three line look you can go for three line gear on your series your arcanes kind of treasure meister rings because those items you're never going to be foddering over or transfer hammering over so you're not going to lose that potential but stay away from three lining superior golix item unless they are 22 stars now this process doesn't have to be done at exactly 260 i was just kind of making this a bench point because this is kind of where you enter the end game ideally you would wait later on probably until like 270s to go for like the quote-unquote real three lines or even 275 maybe even 280 real three lines does get expensive and i would really honestly wait for a cube sale to finish all of your gear i also want to preface this really quickly let me just move back into the late game when i talked about miso and drop gear when going for miso drop gear of course if you don't have the money to do this you don't have to but i highly recommend going for max drop and miso gear which is 200 percent drop it does get expensive but trust me it is worth it you get a lot more fams you get a lot more nodes and as you guys know like nodes are super important in this game it fast tracks your progression a ton because you can make more boss meals the more nodes you have the more boss meals the more money so at that late game stage or even end game stage try and make double drop items you're gonna thank yourself later and once you reach that end game you're gonna regret not making it earlier so make that hybrid double drop miso drop gear as quick as you possibly can and i guess at this end game too when you're at 260 plus this is pretty straightforward and anybody who's at this point kind of knows what's going on but you're gonna want to get like the real three lines on your wse as well so you're gonna want to get like three line attack or two line attack boss or attack attack id on your emblem or attack attack boss on your secondary just like three combinations of usable lines on your weapon emblem and secondary if it's an arcane weapon you don't have to get three usable lines obviously wait until you're liberated if you do plan on liberating you definitely don't need to go for three line attack on an arcane weapon and i would highly recommend not going for three line attack on an arcane weapon i think that's probably one of like the biggest griefs that you can intentionally do of course if you hit three line on your arcane weapon keep that but it's not something you have to intentionally go for anyway I hope this cubing guide did help. Once again, I know there are so many more little avenues that I could talk about in terms of like getting your star forcing up before you do like there's so many different things to talk about and it's like it's it gets hard when i'm making videos like this because there's this system to talk about because it correlates with this system but this is just a cubing guide and just kind of like a baseline to show you guys where you should be at or where you could be at maybe this helps some people out who think 
that they need to be at a lot higher place than they actually are because i know at least for me when i was at like those 235 ranges i thought that i had had to have like all three lines but yeah this is gonna wrap up this cubing guide in reboot if you guys do have any questions at all please leave them down in the comment sections we're more than happy to answer them if you guys did enjoy this video yes i'm about to start begging right now please consider subscribing to the channel if you guys want to pull up to the twitch stream we are live on twitch every wednesday friday saturday sunday so pull up to the twitch streams it's a fun time anyways hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace